You ever wonder what would happen if you shot one of these with a gun? This is the propane tank, the kind you have on your backyard barbecue grill. And I always kind of wondered what would happen if I shot this with a 9mm or a 22 long rifle or a 5.56. Well, today we're going to answer those questions and see what happens. All right, so up first, I've got the Ruger 1022, and I'm just going to shoot the 22 long rifle. And the AR-15 is basically a 22, so I figured that we'll, we'll start with this, we'll warm up, we'll work up to the bigger rounds. Let's go take a look and see what a 22 did to a propane tank. All right, so there's our, there's our dent from the 22 long rifle. Now we'll step up to the 5.56 round, the full metal jacket, and we'll compare the two. So we're stepping up. We've now got the full metal jacket. Same propane tank, same distance. We'll see, we'll compare the difference. There's the full metal jacket strike. And it looks like we got some jacket left there on the steel. Let's go take a look at the back side. And we went right through. So, 5.56 five, will penetrate a propane tank, that's for sure. All right, so now we're stepping up. We've got our green tip, the penetrator round, and we've got moved up to a longer barrel, so we should have some greater velocity. So, greater velocity and a penetrator bullet we should sail right through that propane tank. I saw a piece of something come off of that. Penetrate around. Again, we peeled some jacket off. We got some jacket sitting there. Let's take a look at the back side. And we sailed right on through. No, this one looks like there's some maybe a tumble or a disruption. This one just penetrated right on through like it's supposed to. All right, so now we realize that rifle rounds are gonna go right through that propane tank. Let's take a look at nine millimeter full metal jacket. See if we get the same effect. We stepped up a little bit closer. We're now within handgun range and we're trying a full metal jacket nine millimeter. Let's go take a look. All right, so we've got a much bigger dent than our 22 long rifle, but zero penetration. That it bounced off. So that 22 made a dent. That nine millimeter made a much bigger dent, but still no penetration like the rifle rounds. All right, so we know that 5.56 five, penetrated it. My prediction is this is gonna also penetrate. But we took Granddad out. We're gonna shoot some full metal jacket at that same propane bottle, same distance, just to kind of see what old granddad here can do. Let's go take a look. All right, again, that 30-odd six round punched a nice clean hole on the inside. And it just came sailing right on throughout the backside. Nothing, nothing stops at 30 odd six. All right, we saw what that 30 odd six did. We'll go back to the nine millimeter just for laughs. Let's go take a look. There's it, there's that round after it hit the propane tank or what's left of it. Pretty good expansion. Well, the third round actually did penetrate. And if we look over here, did not exit. Got a nice little, little lump there. It looks like I got lucky and I hit that same spot on that tank twice with that nine millimeter. Um, the first one 
the bullet obviously bounced off. But that second time hitting in the same spot was enough that that metal was already stressed where that 9mm did penetrate the steel of the propane tank. Thanks for watching.